put up the tweet that just caught my eye, and I'm like, you know what? I got to get my friend here on the show to account. Daniel Jeremiah, we're about two to three years away from personnel departments not caring about 40 times. The game GPS data is going to replace it. And these are the words that really cut deep. Who cares what he ran in the 40? I know exactly how fast he ran in game conditions, and I have five years of data for context. And I know he's not saying that himself. He's putting those are the words that actual executives are saying. And I'm like, what are you you doing? Is he trying to – Daniel Jeremiah, are you trying to end Fight Club? Is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to end it? What are you doing? What's going on? This this has been perceived by some as a retaliation – um, for what the slander that you gave Fred the Sled at the combine. <laughs> I tried to introduce yes. when Fred you, the Sled. When you so, tried to name the sled that was used out there as Fred the Sled, I thought it was awful, and Belichick himself loved it. Um, loved it. And the rest of your scouting and coaching and evaluation community loved it, and I, I accepted it. I came around on Fred the Sled, but um, this, one, this one cuts deep, Daniel. Cuts very deep. Well, there's a lot of layers here. I will. I will say this. There's a lot of irony, as you can tell. I'm in the car right now. Yes. I uh, <laughs> I spent the day. I spent the day in, in uh, the morning in Orange County, where a bunch of these guys are working out. Yes. And kind of put a bunch of these players through like a mock pro day, so they can get ready because there's no combine. Just yep. kind of give them a dry run, so okay. these kids can go out and really perform and do their best at their pro day. Right. So I did find it interesting that I was out this morning timing 40s. Um, before coming on to join you, Rich, and I got to say, it's the first time since 2012 where I was really at 40 at, at a pro day setting where my, you know, where you're kind of running it and your numbers matter. And I, I feel I felt kind of like a house cat today, like I was back out in the wild, and it was just it took just. So uh, is the irony even heightened by the fact that you used GPS to get to the site to time your 40s, Daniel? <laughs> Does the yeah, art- if I could have if I could have just driven my car next to them while they ran, I would have done it. Maybe. They wouldn't allow that on the field mm. up there in Orange County. See, but this is my point, Daniels. There's always going to be like, sure, you know, uh, the SEC is going to have chips in the shoulder pads of these guys, but there's always going to be D three small school people that are, you're going to need to get out the old timer and figure this thing out. The forty yard dash will always be necessary. Always, it's all it, it's always going to exist. I am with you on that. It's right. always going to exist, and there are going to be times where, it's hel- where it helps. I would say that its significance in the process is has already been diminished to a degree and is going to continue down that way. I still think we do it. You still do it at the, you know, at the combine, and we still we, – we've been doing the GPS numbers at the combine for a while now, too. So we have both sets of information there. Um, but when I've talked to, to GMs and, and guys around the league – that that has entered into the lexicon over the last two years in a big way, and it's this guy was in the 94th percentile, or this guy's fastest time was in the you know the 80th percentile for his position. These 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 GPS numbers are coming more and more and more into kind of the common conversations that you have on these players. Yeah, I know, but uh, I just we you know uh, it, it is it is obviously something. But to me, look, man. I, I know that, you know, you, you'd rather use the GPS uh, in somebody's shoulder pad to see how fast someone ran against Auburn or against the Ohio State rather than having Charlie casually close one eye and try and figure out when his finger is actually moving accurately. I, I, I totally get that. But you, you're, you are telling me that there will always still be a 40-yard dash at the combine, right? The scouts aren't going to just toss it, right? Yeah, I mean, I we're I think we will still have it, and I still think you'll use the you know you'll have the forty time, but I think the GPS number will will continue to carry some significance, and it's going to get more significant as we go forward. I mean, I can envision a day where you're running you know the distance of forty yards, and then uh, we have a GPS number there, and we have a speed limit, and we could have a police officer there right at the finish line to see if whether or not you get a ticket or not. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.